Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and by now everybody knows about the uh, Dallas Massacre of five cops and many more injured. Uh, I don't have to rehash how many are dead, but here's the point. They've been lying about this. They're lying about this now. You see, I was listening to this live on Coast to Coast AM, and it was clear that there were multiple uh, shooters, multiple terrorists, and, you know, they said there was at least four in custody. Now, the media has whitewashed this, and we're going to show you how they've whitewashed it. Now, here is NBC DallasFortWorth.com. This is why you can't believe anything they say. It's just lie, 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 lie. I am hot. I'll tell you that much. Five officers are dead, four Dallas police officers, and one Dallas area rapid transit officer, or DART, in which... Authorities called the sniper ambush on police officers at the end of a peaceful protest. That is a lie against nationwide officer-involved shootings. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. Thursday night. It was not a pre peaceful protest. It was a setup. Seven officers and two civilians were also injured in the shootings. All are expected to recover. Well, that's good news. I'm assuming it's the truth. You can't believe anything these people say anymore. They're just lying constantly. This is a terrible blow to the city of Dallas. This is a terrible blow to the United States of America. Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlings said on NBC's Today Show Friday morning. Dallas Police Chief David Brown said Friday officers cornered a suspect, later identified as Micah Xavier Johnson of Mesquite, and tried to negotiate with him for several hours before the talks broke down. Johnson told police he was upset about the recent police shootings and wanted to kill white people. Uh, this is where the line starts. That is incredible bullshit. Because there were multiple uh, shooters reported. So that is a lie. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. And then they uh, blew him to bits. With a robotic thing, they claim. Brown said all their options bring standoff to an end would have exposed officers, more officers, to grave danger. They're just all, they're just flat out lying. Dallas police officer said during a search of Johnson's home Friday, detectives found bomb making materials, ballistic vests. Rifles, ammunition, and a personal journal of combat tactics. Now, I had to read all this to show you that this is the usual, one of several usual scenarios that we get after a multiple shooting like this. They have to tailor each one a little bit, but it's the same basic thing. They acted alone. There's no conspiracy. It's one person. Lone Wolf, nothing to see here, time to move on. This is whitewash, it is a lie. This entire NBC article is a lie. I'm going to show you some of the uh, original, a couple of the original articles that didn't get whitewashed from the internet. Okay, uh, here we have... Dallas cops fatally shot, multiple suspects captured. Repeat, multiple subs suspects captured. 
So here TMZ admits that they captured several of them. The attack happened in the middle of a peaceful protest against the deaths of Elton Sterling and Philando Castile. Now here's what you have to understand. This was known as bait. You know, you put the worm on the hook and wait for the fish to arrive and then it gets baited. Black Lives Matter is not a peaceful organization. I mean, I've seen the videos for myself, and they're marching along. Well, we want dead cops. When do we want it right now? That kind of thing. Early Friday morning, police said they arrested three suspects and had at least one more cornered in a building. One of the suspects reportedly told police there were bombs, multiple bombs planned around the city. Here we have Red State. And they're saying the same basic thing. But here's, here's the basic scenario. Every single time without fail, when we have one of these mass shootings where an organization is involved, every single time except if it's if it's a white person, white scumbag like Dylan Roof, it works a little bit differently. But basically, the organization involved is automatically cleared. It almost always, they always always give us this lone wolf scenario after. Even after multiple suspects are seen. The sole example I've seen was uh, the San Bernardino uh, couple, but even they, you know, they're the press and the authorities have worked to isolate them, isolated incident, it's the guns that are at fault, so on and so forth. Here's my point. Here's my point, folks. Uh, they work this narrative every single time. If it's radical Islam that's involved, they say, uh, sorry, we don't know, uh, you know, what's going on with this. We don't know what caused this. We don't know what the motivation was, blah, blah, blah. Every single time. And even if there were multiple shooters reported, they'll report only one that they want to take up. One to be the uh, token shooter. Every single time. So they clear Islam. In this case, we have a so-called peaceful protest, which, was, like I said, was used for bait. There were multiple shooters reported. I was listening to it on Coast to Coast AM. In this case, it's Black Lives Matter that is at fault here. This is a carefully orchestrated and set up. This is a care carefully orchestrated setup. Um, from what I understand, no one even knew uh, what the parade route was. And because they didn't know what the parade route was, they had to have people on the inside to set this one up or it wouldn't have worked. Which means it was a setup all along, which I already knew. So Black Lives Matter is at war with this country. In fact, there's uh, reports from all over the country that cops are being shot at. But you won't hear that on the media. The media has already cleared them. The media blames one person, a veteran. They love that scenario. The returning veteran goes wacky and... 
uh, shoots a bunch, bunch of people up. That's why we need to take guns away from the veterans. This is why we need more gun control. You can't believe more that they say anymore. It's as simple as that. So, Black Lives Matter, so they misdirect this away from Black Lives Matter and put the blame on someone we don't even know if he was involved with this or not. You can't, these people lie constantly now, so you can't tell the truth, you can't tell what's the truth from a lie. But, there definitely was multiple uh, shooters involved in it. There's no question of that. I mean, that was reported immediately. They arrested a bunch of them. They've admitted they arrested a bunch of them. And then they turn around and say, nope, one shooter, one gunman. That's it. So this was set up, no question about it, by Black Lives Matter. Is bait. A blind person could see this. A blind person could see this. They set up so-called peaceful protester protest. They get snipers in position, and boom, 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 boom. From what I understand, they're shooting at the cops from different angles. It was an ambush. Now, it could be anybody except for whites. See, it works differently with whites. You look at Dylan Roof. Look who's been blamed for it. Everybody except for Dylan Roof. They love this guy, believe me. He is a white supremacist clan type. They love him. It gives them their uh, narrative. Uh, they've blamed the Confederate flag. They've blamed the Dukes of Hazard for the Dillon Roof shootings. They've blamed the Fleur de Lis. And that one's going to be a little tougher to take down, though. They've blamed I think they blamed the book Tom Sawyer. These people are insane. They have lost the ability to tell the difference between truth and a lie. They blamed everything. That's why it works if it's a white person. Then, in the case of Dylan Roof, one, I'm satisfied there was one shooter. In this case, no. This was an ambush. It was set up and planned well in advance and there's no question nobody knew the parade route nobody knew which way they're going so this had to have been set up it's a bait the parade was simply bait bait and shoot cops I'm furious the point here is, you can't tell, you can't believe anything these people say anymore. They've got, the lying has got to the point where you can't believe anything. It's that simple. This was a setup. Black Lives Matter is a terrorist organization. They've been filmed walking down the street. We want dead pigs, you know, that kind of thing. So we're in a, we're actually in a civil war right now. And as Michael Savage said on a show last night, this was Fort Sumter. Black Lives Matter needs to be arrested. I've seen some of the tweets and their tweets. Maybe I'll show a few of these before I go. I'm sorry this video is lasting so long, but there's a lot to be said on this one. Once again, whitewashed by the main lamestream media. Here's some of the tweets. Thank God for uh, Alex Jones. 
Keep smoking them pigs. Keep up the work. Give a fuck about Dallas and them pigs. Fuck them all. Dude, hell yeah, someone is shooting pigs in Dallas. Solidarity. Yeah, it's Lyndon Dallas. Fuck the pigs. All these should be arrested immediately. All those Dallas pigs that got body, body deserved it. Shoot out them Dallas shooters wrapping pigs in blankets. These fucking pigs deserve Dallas and every incident after Dallas until reform. Fucking disgusting animals. So these cops were nothing more than animals to that one. What the fuck? When White sinks there, superior than us. Dallas must burn Black Lives Matter. Got message pigs. Need I go on? Thank God for Alex Jones. That's all I can say. Alex Jones gets to the core of things. He doesn't uh, jerk around and he doesn't pull any punches. I don't always agree with him, but thank God for him. That's all I can say. So, summarize. I know this video went really long. I've been trying to keep him under. Uh, 10 minutes, but summarize, this was set up by Black Lives Matter. Make no mistake about it. It is a terrorist organization. Limbaugh is right about that. They need to be busted up. Their leadership arrested, and they need to be treated as a domestic terrorist organization. But of course, they're exonerated. The ones who are blamed, to blame are whites. Uh, this is sick, disgusting, I can't believe, we can't trust media anymore, that's bottom line. I'm Artifacts Mars, I'm disgusted. Thanks for watching.